Hi guys, Kira Daly here and today I am going to be doing a tutorial on a look that was inspired by all the festivals that happened this year and just some beautiful kind of Christmas colours and stuff that's coming out, all the purples and silvers this year. So today we have the beautiful Amy and we're just giving her a quick cleanse with the face off mitt. I'm going to just prep her skin and then I'm going to take my infamous hero brush, apply the desired foundation that I'm using and I'm going to dot it all over the face so I have an even coverage and then I'm just going to spend a few seconds just buffing that in in circular motion and that gets it on quickly, easily and really flawless. There we go. Next up is our buff buddy. So I'm just literally, you wet the buff buddy, squeeze out any excess water, and then I'm just going to pat my concealer and my creamy contour products, and that just blends it all in seamlessly. And then take my angel brush with a finishing powder, and that's just going to help set any creamy products that I'm using. So we have a beautiful base now. Onto the eyebrows. So whatever eyebrow product you're using, whether you prefer an eyeshadow, an eyebrow powder, or even a pomade, this is your perfect partners, your diva collection. So comb through the brush up and out. This will help you get your shape. Then I'm going to take the slanted sable brush and I'm going to give Amy the perfect baseline to an eyebrow. So as you can see, I'm using small, short strokes and I'm just getting that really nice, sharp baseline in. I'm going to fill in the blanks, so to speak, and then just go around, just framing that eyebrow and just take the other end of my spoolie and I'm just going to soften the front to get that ombre finish that's so desired now. And there you go, it beautifully frames Amy's gorgeous face. So as you can see, I've went for a really dramatic look here today, just something a bit different, uh, onto our Phoenix collection. So right away, I'm going to take my base blending brush and I'm just going to do a simple matte bone coloured base. And then I'm going to go in with the same brush, just using a little bit of the pinky purple shade that I've opted for my transition colour. So just blend that, so see really softly, you're going to build this colour up. Then I'm going to take my accent brush and just work it into that inner corner. So I'm going to do like a reverse smoky eye, so we're going to concentrate on the inner corner of the eye. This time, just for something a little bit different. Take my socket blend and brush, really get some definition into that inner corner, just with the darker colours. Uh, just blend that on the outside with my pinky colour. It's all looking very galaxy inspired here. Then I'm going to take just a white shimmer and just place it into the centre of the eye there. It's going to help that pop going to apply some blue eyeliner to the inner rim of the eye just in between the lashes and then I'm going to take my under eye detailer and I'm just going to buff that along that lower lash line and then just apply some blue eyeshadow over the top of that so I think the blue is really nice against the purple and pink tones take my accent brush and just keep buffing that out until I'm happy with that finished look, looking beautiful. going to do some awesome eyeliner with our Sphinx collection. So first off I'm going to take the pointed eyeliner brush. It's like a plum coloured eyeliner, just thought it would go really nice with them purple tones. 
um, the brush really does do the work for you because it's just the right size to get your point. Then I'm going to take my little slanted sable brush and I'm just going to work that silver in. So this is pretty advanced but just thought I'd give you something a bit of fun that you can practice at when you get home. So just spend your time getting your point right, making sure you're happy with the shape. And then we're going to put a little bit of that same silver just in the inner corner of the eyes using the slanted brush again. I really like highlighting the inside corners of the eyes, it really just helps the makeup to pop. Going to get some mascara on her just to finish the look. So the purple's gorgeous against with her blue eyes. So plenty of mascara. Of course, you can add eyelashes if you so wish, but I absolutely love this colour. Now we're going to move on to our contouring with our Goddess collection our highlighting brush, blusher brush, and contour brush. So, first off, I'm going to take my dense highlighting brush and just apply a little bit of a matte highlighter. Then of course your blusher from the apples of your cheek working out the temples. Just a little around the forehead just to bring that colour around. I've opted for a pinky blush to match in with the eyes. Just make sure that's all blended. And then I'm going to take my contour brush and just from the top of the ear to the corner of the mouth, just under that cheekbone, I'm going to work in a beautiful contour just along the jawline just to really help sculpt out that face and then take my shimmery highlighter whatever you prefer using I'm just going to work it along the top of the cheekbones down the center of the nose and top of the lips absolutely beautiful Then, with my angel brush, I'm literally going to set all my makeup. You can even work down to the neck and you can apply a bit of bronzer, whatever you so wish. I've just lined my lips and now I'm going in with a beautiful dark purple, not for the faint hearted. And just fill in that whole lip area and as you can see with the brush, you get a really sharp finish. And then I'm just going around them little bits with my concealer brush. I'm making sure that I've got a really crisp finish, which is so important when you're going for a bold lip like this. And then just to finish off the look, I've taken that same silver as I put in the eyeliner and I've just give her a little lip ring effect. So I hope you've enjoyed. I think she looks absolutely fabulous. And see us all again soon. Please visit us on www.kiradailymakeup.com.